In this video, we'll be dissecting a poppy flower. First, here's an overview of the entire flower. Notice there are two petals on an inner layer, as well as two petals in an outer layer. Normally flowers also have sepals, but those have already fallen off. The next two layers of the flower are the stamens and the pistil. We'll take a closer look under the scope. The stamens consist of anthers on filaments which support them, and the pistil is interior to the stamens. At the top of the pistil, you can see the stigmas. These are parts of the pistil where pollen will land and fertilize the flower. If we cut the pistil open crosswise, we can see the ovules inside. These will eventually mature into seeds inside of the fruit. In this video, we'll look at some dissections of composite flowers. First, let's look at this Mexican sunflower. It has a head inflorescence composed of many small florets gathered together. The ones on the outside have showy petals, and they're called ray florets. And the ones in the center are smaller and called disc florets. Those are the ones that have the seeds. If we take a closer look at a ray floret, you can see the rest of the floret at the bottom of the large showy petal. The disc florets hold the stamens and the pistils. This is where pollination will occur. If we take one disc floret out of the entire head inflorescence, you can see the stigmas at the top. And if you pull them away, you see the style that connects them to the rest of the flower. Let's look at another example in the common sunflower. Again, there are those large, showy ray florets on the outside, and the disc florets in the middle. Let's look at one of those rays. Most of this floret is that single showy petal. There's not really much else going on. Meanwhile, in the disc florets, you can actually see all the parts of your typical flower. Oops. These parts are quite reduced, but they are there. Stigmas, style, and the corolla, which I'm removing now. The corolla is composed of all the petals in the flower. Once they're peeled away, you can see the stamens, which are really darkly pigmented, held inside. You can separate the stamens away from the pistil to expose the rest of the style.
the style leads down to the flower's ovary, in which the seed will develop after fertilization.